Hello, this is Michael from strabismusworld.com and today I wanted to make a video about how yoked prisms are used in vision therapy or visual training. Uh, I've got my own pair so that makes it easier to demonstrate a couple of things. Uh, my pair of prism goggles are uh, manufactured by an Italian company named Vision Training Equipment and I think the model is called Stress Point Test. Here's the box. Uh, so in short that VTE. Uh, my particular pair of adult goggles has 12 prism diopters within it. Uh, that's fairly high but I don't know if that's the highest that you can go. I think there's even uh, models with a higher uh, amount of prism diopters. So these goggles, to be clear, they're not for normal everyday use. So here are my uh, yoked prism goggles. Uh, you can clearly see the prism slope. Uh, they will distort your visual field and shift uh, everything you're seeing to one particular side. But not only will they shift what you're seeing, but also because it's such a high amount of prism, they will uh, distort and uh, on one side it compresses what you're seeing and on the other side things will be wider. So that's a visual effect from the high amount of prism. <laughs> I'm actually looking through them the wrong way around. Uh, Another nice feature about these particular goggles is that you can actually adjust how the lenses are positioned within the frame so I can turn them. Uh, this way I don't have to buy four separate pair of glasses but I can use one to train in different, different positions. So how are they actually used during training? Said so there's four positions. Uh, there's up, down, left or right and the whole point of having these four positions is that you uh, insert visual change so your visual system has to adapt to changing visual environments that's the, that's the main point of the exercise but it does so in various ways so not only is the light that reaches your retina different so not only as your visual field shifted to one side or the other, but also your proprioception of your the proprioception of your eye muscles has changed because your your eye muscles feel different and they have to strain to adapt to a certain new visual environment to to make to work out and make sense of what, what's happening. So the visual has changed, the proprioception has changed. Uh, furthermore, all your other bodily movements, so for example if I would be wearing those prism goggles, everything would have changed. So my hand movement would have to be different in relation to my visual environment, would have to be different from what it usually is. So I have to, to relearn how to reach for certain uh, things like say a cup or whatever. So that makes it quite hard. There's more videos on YouTube of people trying to relearn skills with, with prisms. But one of the most important adaptations to prisms, I think, and particularly in practice with yoke prisms, is the integration of vision and the vestibular. Because usually you would use them while balancing on a, on a balancing beam. And that's very hard because the first time I did it, I, I just I just fell off, and then it took some time uh, to uh, to learn and adjust. Um, so that's basically the goal: to integrate vision with vestibular and proprioception and the other senses, and then you can start loading and make your visual system more flexible because you're always changing the environment so every time your visual system has to readjust to the new environment and learn how to get by so then in general after you exercised your visual system will have to be more will be more flexible that's the that's the goal uh, 
for me personally it's one of the most powerful exercises in vision therapy that I know but it's not something to start with first you have to learn how to use your eyes together in isolation just while sitting still and doing step like more static exercises but once you get that down and you can move your eyes together quite comfortably while sitting then you have to start integrating your eye movements within with your other senses and in more dynamic situations and for this uh, yoke prisms and balancing beam are really perfect and to me it's one of the most impactful exercises I've done because after using those you really feel that you've had a proper workout and the the after effects are really tangible to me it's, it's sometimes like uh, being drunk like some things seem to be floating and I'm a bit dizzy but that that's all right you know then it means that I've done a workout and uh, my brain had to do some readjusting so for more advanced vision therapy and integration with vestibular and proprioception and dynamic movement yoked prisms really are a very powerful and in the end very simple tool